Now, I don't know a lot, but what I do know is that back in middle school, if you didn't know all the lyrics to Weird Al's White and Nerdy, you were a nobody. So I probably should have learned the lyrics then. Would have made middle school a little bit easier. But anyway, let's talk about Weird, the Al Yankovic story. What's up guys, I'm Sully Streams. I post videos every week about which movies are actually worth your time and which ones are just hot garbage. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you keep on adding to that never ending watch list. And today I'm very excited because we're talking about the brand new parody biopic, Weird, the Al Yankovic story. All you need to know about this one is that it follows the life of musician Al Yankovic, growing up in a home where playing the accordion was a sin, but he rebelled against all of that to make his dream of changing the words to popular songs come true. An instant success in Sex Symbol, Al lived a life of excess and started a romance that nearly destroyed him. And all of this movie is 100% factual and completely true. Kinda. Okay, not really. And just to mention this from the start, this movie is not coming to theaters. You're gonna be able to watch it for free starting on Friday of this week on the Roku channel on your television, which is not a sentence I thought I would ever say in my entire life. I didn't even know the Roku channel was a real thing, but it is, and it's worth figuring out how to watch this movie. So this is a movie that I wasn't like actively seeking out or all that excited for. It wasn't gonna be a day one watch for me when it got released. I like Weird Al, I don't love Weird Al, but I'll happily put my foot in my mouth here because this movie was wild wildly entertaining from start to finish, and a big reason of that is obviously because of Daniel Radcliffe, so let's talk about him for a second. I love the path this guy has taken his career down the past few years. He's got more money and fame than he would ever know what to do with after being in the Harry Potter franchise, so he's got nothing to prove to anybody. So now he just takes these really fun and wacky roles. Not award hunting, doesn't care what anyone else thinks, just having a blast and trying to transform himself. Elijah Wood comes to mind too after Lord of the Rings, just a couple of short kings out there doing whatever the hell they want and not giving a shit about anything else, and not once during this movie did I feel like I was watching Harry Potter play Weird Al, which I honestly think is like the biggest compliment I could give the guy. The parody comedy in this movie is fantastic. A lot of the jokes have a much longer setup and you'll kind of catch on to where they're headed because they're following and making fun of the usual beats of a music biopic, but that doesn't ruin it for some reason. Like if you've seen any of those movies like Bohemian Rhapsody and Rocket Man, you'll catch on to where this is headed very quickly. And you'll be thinking to yourself like, okay, are they really just gonna follow a music biopic beat by beat like a blueprint but as a joke and that's exactly what's happening with this movie but for some reason it's awesome this hits every single cliche in the genre and exaggerates it to just an absurd degree i don't know what else you would expect from a movie about the life of weird al yankovic and if you like walk hard the dewey cox story which is the johnny cash parody movie with john c Riley, your prayers have been answered here because this movie makes the perfect double feature to that all the little cameos in this movie add a ton of charm to it and really make it feel like a passion project like the early judd apatow days everyone and their mother is in this movie, even if it's for just like 15 seconds. Will Forte, Jack Black, Patton Oswalt, Rain Wilson, even Weird Al himself plays the music label guy that keeps turning down our main character. Also, while we're on the topic, I thought Evan Rachel Wood did a really good job as Madonna in this movie. She's actually kind of the villain of this story, and her arc takes some hilarious twists and turns by the end of this film, but I'm not really going to go into it because you need to experience it for yourself, but just know that she really brings it here. Even though it's all so insanely far-fetched and mostly untrue, there's something so addicting and fun about watching Weird Al succeed and find himself in this movie. I don't know if a more fun movie has come out this year. It must have been a blast on set making this one. This is chicken soup for the soul for all the weird kids out there. It doesn't really escape that made-for-TV look and feel, but that might actually add to the charm of this one a little bit. It works with the over-the-top nature of everything surrounding this completely outlandish story. And one thing I want to say before we wrap up here is that if you're not really a Weird Al fan, you don't like his music, you think what he does is kind of stupid, this might not totally be your cup of tea, but I do ask that you try to keep an open mind because this really is one of those comedies where there's something for everybody here. So we finally got a movie about the most famous accordion player in a very specific genre of music. So was it worth the wait? Definitely yes. Daniel Radcliffe just fully commits himself to this role and proves yet again that he thrives when there's absolute chaos happening around him. It's funny, it's got a lot of heart, and it'll keep you on your toes. If you're not a fan of the works of Weird Al Yankovic, there's a chance this does nothing for you, but I would still highly suggest you check it out if you're in the mood for a quirky, feel-good comedy. Weird, the Al Yankovic story gets a Sully score of four stars. 
Guys, that's my review of Weird, the Al Yankovic story. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to go check this one out or if you've already seen it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys at the next video.